today on Running to Him. Christian leaders are to be compassionate and gentle because they also need that compassion in their lives. Today's reading is Hebrews chapter 5, concentrating on verses 1 through 4. Hebrews 5, 1 through 4 says, For every high priest taken from among men is appointed on behalf of men in things pertaining to God, in order to offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. He can deal gently with the ignorant and misguided, since he himself is also beset with weakness. And because of it, he is obligated to offer a sacrifice for his sins, as for the people, he so also for himself. And no one takes that honor unto himself, but receives it when he is called by God, even as Aaron was. Today's reading points to Jesus as better than the Aaronic priesthood. You'll remember in Genesis 14.20, Abraham, after defeating four kings, gave an offering to a priest by the name of Melchizedek. This reference in Genesis, and once in Psalm 110.4, is the only time Melchizedek is mentioned in the Old Testament. Many see this priest as a type, meaning a picture, of Christ in that he has no beginning or end. He was the king of Salem, meaning peace, and Abraham, the patriarch of the Jews, gave him a tithe, meaning that he honored him as God. As a priest, like Melchizedek, Jesus' priesthood was better than Aaron's. The role of a priest is first to treat people gently. This word comes from two words, meaning moderate in passion. Those who are in a leadership role must treat those under their care with gentleness. It is interesting that Paul uses the terms ignorant and misguided to describe those under their care. The ignorant person is one who does not know something. Generally, we treat ignorance with disdain rather than patience and love. We ask the person why they didn't know better or in some other way indicate that we believe they acted stupidly. But the person of God, through a relationship with Christ, must treat those who are ignorant or who don't have a knowledge gently so as not to break their spirit. We also must treat the misguided, which means those who are wandering away, with the same gentleness. Think of a parent with a small child. That parent doesn't become upset with the child if they put their shoes on backwards. The parent sits down with the child and explains the mistake and then shows the child how to correct it. One time I went to my grandfather with the crude model of a sailing ship I'd made. As he was a former captain of a large cargo sailing ship and an accomplished maker of ship models, some which are displayed in maritime museums, he could have berated me for the lack of my skill in making the model. Instead, he carefully took everything apart and showed me how to build it correctly. Those Christians who are called to a leadership position are to be humble and gentle leaders because they are also in need of compassionate guidance. Jesus provides that compassionate guidance because he understands the battle. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.